I'm Lawrence Gray and you're not. Anyone following this channel will know by now that we are preparing a new documentary on the history of Malaysia. This time following in the footsteps of Victorian blogger Isabella Bird. She came here in 1879 and toured what were then known as the native states. We're under a movement control order at the moment, so who knows when we will be able to get out and shoot this. But in the meantime, we are preparing the script. You might ask why? Well, if you have no idea of history, then you have no idea of what is going on now. And if you know nothing, how can you do anything about it? So, given the way YouTube works, requiring constant new uploads to feature in the search engines, I thought we would give you updates on the progress and the methods we are using to develop the final product. Well, I've written a number of drama shows for TV and the process there is very different from writing a documentary. Where they are similar is in that you still need a basic idea, a broad outline of the story and then a script that takes one from the beginning to the end of the story with twists, turns, suspense, surprise, character and dialogue and of course conflict. Now there are a number of different types of documentaries, some of which start off with a broad idea and then shoot lots of material to finally be pieced together in the editing room with the script and the narration being developed along the way. Some documentaries use interviews and reenactments and others rely upon the enthusiastic presenters. We are doing essentially a travelogue but uh, referring to the travels of Isabella and the history of the areas she visited. Writing such a script requires a lot of research. Uh, we have been reading history books and academic papers, discovering all manner of interesting things, looking into the records of the British Parliament's discussion of the British takeover of the native states. Well, that's an eye-opener. And uh, not only did the government not want this to happen, but they in no uncertain terms forbade any interference in this affairs of the Sultans. However, people on the ground concocted a fiction about the extent of piracy and other disturbances and how the British were being asked for help to halt the chaos. So we have plotted the route that Isabella took and I am trying to find features that are currently to be seen that correspond to things she said and help tell us our story. Uh, because the story is very complex, ranging from commentary on her attitudes to the personalities and the political context of what she found, it requires quite a bit of thought to come up with succinct ways of telling this story without losing people in a welter of detail. Documentaries must have their drama, their conflict, their personalities, and also conclude in some satisfactory manner. Now. I have some idea as to what the conclusion will be, but I also know that when we get on the location, we will discover new things. Often local historians throw up new dimensions to a story uh, that many historians have missed because they took something on authority rather than went to look for themselves. Luckily, we have Google, not to mention Google Translate. These allow me to sit here in my office and actually explore some of the locations to see if there are places that fit the script or should be found a place in the script. Being able to access Malay language sites on local history is a great asset as it helps gives us the perspective of the Malays towards the establishment of the residency system. And normally we would do this by actually going to the places and uh, going to local museums and knocking on people's doors and so on. Uh, so this actually it makes it relatively easy to find quite a lot of that information before actually spending the time and effort out in the heat tracking down all this uh, new information. What our conclusions will be has yet to be discovered. Because history is this curated phenomena with so much scope for interpretations that rely upon the exclusion of inconvenient facts, any in-depth research will put a new spin on what people think they know. Perhaps the lesson that I hope comes out of this is that governments so often rely upon creating a myth of some sort to justify actions. No doubt I have my biases, but I do abhor the historian who merely produces propaganda and polemic. History is messy. It has nuance. 
and the values of today are not those of yesteryears. How can I neatly summarize all this up in a matter of a few sentences? Is going to be the real challenge. So don't forget, like, subscribe, share, or even share, like, subscribe, share, like, subscribe, subscribe, like, share, share, all that, all that stuff, uh, and follow this channel. Um, check out all the other videos that we've done here, all this history and travel. Uh, it, it's, it's well, phenomenal. So uh, check out all the other stuff, boost up our uh, watch hours, and um, like I said, like, subscribe, share, and keep your eye open for more updates on this uh, new documentary that we're developing. And uh, hopefully we'll have it out. Oh. March, April, May, June, July, who knows, but as soon as possible.